All right, new day out, new everything after the holidays. Let's see what we find at the thrift store today. Should be another fun adventure going thrifting. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. All right, it's like deja vu all over again. Run to the cups and plates. What do we got today? Take a quick look, nothing over there. This usually goes quick, then I come back, I try to look for anything that might catch my eye. It looks like there's a lot of open spaces though. Almost like they, uh, they didn't stop it overnight. No blow molds hanging around. Much, man. Do you know what this is called when they uh they, like do that like texture? You feel that? Yeah, puff print. That's what it's called. Yep. Puff print. Hey, Hello. How's it going? Now I'm working on. Let's see what Jay grabbed. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Alright, so I grabbed one shirt here. Very, very cool. It's called Puff Print. You can't really see it on camera. You can't really even see it in person. But if you go to a left to right, maybe, you might be able to see a bow out. It's like, it's puffy. 1989 Hard Rock, Sky Dome. I don't think it's even called the Sky Dome anymore. It's where the Blue Jays play, I believe. But very, very cool shirt. These Hard Rock shirts surprisingly do sell. Uh, was it? They also have like a, uh, it's like a black and like neon green or turquoise look. This is the first one I've seen that's in white. But very cool. I don't expect to sell for much, but a cool 80s shirt. It's kind of funny, Jay left these last time, and they're still here. It's like, who's, I don't know who's really going to buy them. And whatever they had, they had, they had $20, a little pricey. It's very, very, I know around here, it's not much hockey being played. I wonder if you took these to play it again sports, if they would buy it. But we all know how that went the last time we went there. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually Moravian Academy. On an older sweatshirt, but it's not Moravian College and it's a certain school. If I ever collected just vintage gear, I mean, this wouldn't fit me, but. That's a print. I was about to say, wow. That somebody really dropped this off. But it's a print. Print on an older frame. Huh. 
about to lose my mind there for a second. All right, don't know how well this would sell, but this is on a really cool tag. It's called Carolina Connection. I've never heard of that. Lady Lions basketball. I mean, I don't really follow college women's basketball. I think they're pretty decent. I mean, it's not UConn. It's really kind of, I don't know. This would be like, no idea. But Carolina Connection. It's a new brand. It's probably an old brand because the quality of the shirt is immaculate. But kind of a cool shirt. Then I grab that. So I got the Sky Dome and I got this. I will say one thing. They have quite a bunch of vintage gear today. Oh, they're Marlboro. Um, saw some shirts over here on the end. I don't even know what this is. On Venus athletic wear. Kind of cool. All right, this just came off the rack. I don't know who this guy is. It's on this really cool tag though. I've never seen. So I don't know, but it's all bled through, so it might be a fake. Check out this one though. Nineteen eighty six old ringer. Hundred and fifty dollars for this jacket, and it's just crumbled up in here. Oh, it's a Jeff Hamilton. It's kind of cool, but I'm not spending one hundred fifty dollars for a jacket. We'll say they have some pretty nice furniture. That's new. That's new. That might be old. But this is a nice Empire style dresser. Very, very nice. And it's only $50. This also, I think it's Empire. Yeah, it's Empire style. It's a dresser with a mirror. So I think it's a, a chest of drawers. This is a dresser. Very nice. How much is this one? $58. Looks like an old one. It's only three bucks. Uh, what we got down here? Sand it. Yep, this is an old one. Got a name on the back. It does not. In the Ragland design. I'll grab that for three dollars. Can't beat it. This one looks pretty worn. Twenty-five. Not for me. It's awesome. 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 Bike uniform. These generally are priced pretty expensive online, but if you go to sold, they usually don't sell. So. Definitely grabbing this for $3. That's a no-brainer. This is cool. Italy, the big boot on the bottom. On the old Hanes sweatshirt, gotta be late 80s. Raglan as well. This is four dollars. For those who might not know, I am Italian, Italian and Polish. For those who might not know, I'm going to grab these two. These are great scores. Usually don't come to this thrift, but these are great scores gotta tell you so I am thrifting with my mom since she's here for the holidays and she's got a stack nice quote it's actually an old one below it all right so I managed to score all this stuff Fabulous stuff. There's a basketball in there. I actually got all this bed sheets 
and uh, pillowcases, the old 90s hockey, my favorite. Uh, I was talking to my mom actually, I was like, why didn't I have those when I was a kid? I would have loved them. She said, I don't remember ever having them. So it must have been one of those things that was so hot you couldn't get it. Times are different, you know? Technology, the internet, availability, knockoffs, everything. Time is so different now. All right, to kind of wrap it up here, we just mail. Well, here you go, Salsa. I'll give you this one. Have at it. Um, probably my favorite find today were these sheets. These hockey sheets. Once in a while, they'll pop up these right here. Like this one's actually a pillowcase. Check out the graphics on it too. Back when they had the Winnipeg Jets, you had the Hartford Whalers, the old Dallas Stars logo, the Rangers are still the same. You got the Quebec Nordiques up there. I think they just had the Mighty Ducks did. The old Kings logo, Canucks logo, Capital, so many old throwback logos here. So these are probably from the mid 90s, I'd bet. Um, some really, really cool graphics on this i would probably keep this for myself but i really like i don't know if i'd have this in my bedroom maybe i would um it looked great like in a game room or a 90s room if you have a 90s room i just overall i love the graphics also what a lot of people do with these or they start to make masks so if you wanted like a throwback logo these would look really great on a mask the my ducks logo the old penguins um I think I checked quickly on eBay. There was like a pillowcase for 20 bucks or a bed sheet for 20 bucks. So there's like a set of, I don't know how many are here. There's a lot. It's like seven pieces. So you have some bed sheets, a bunch of pillowcases, and I think um, the fitted sheet. Then I spent like $18. So when all is said and done, I should probably clear 150, I bet, for all of it. If I don't end up saving some, but they make great masks. Got a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this isn't all of it. I don't even know where the rest went. It's probably still in the Jeep. I got a bunch from that first thrift store. Also, I grabbed the basketball from my basketball friend. But if you guys look up this basketball, it's actually worth a decent amount of money. So I might end up putting it online. Um, this white and red one seems to be a little bit rarer than the other one. But basketballs, especially with basketballs in boxes or footballs, can bring a decent amount so if you're looking for an avenue where a lot of people probably wouldn't be looking check out those uh always always some cool things maybe you can you know take away some things and, and learn a little uh but like there's a lot of really odd items especially like at yard sales like at yard sales you'll see a box of footballs or soccer balls um so there's always an opportunity to kind of learn and buy something that a lot of other people aren't buying let's take suits for example if you learn a lot about suits, maybe at a yard sale, garage sale, you can find one. Not a lot of people are looking for them at garage sales or yard sales, and you can flip them. But uh, overall, very, very fun day. Always love going to the thrift salsas currently, guarding the fortress. I guess you don't want to play with this. So that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Yet again, another episode of Treasure Hunting. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more treasure hunts just like this, subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.